family welcome to our June garden tour at my house it is about 9 40 in the morning the best time to do this because it will be a hundred degrees today here in Houston Texas and it's going to rain for the next um, about five days so the rest of the month so this is the last day I can do this tour this is not going to be a super clean and neat tour there are things everywhere projects going on um, but I am excited to show you guys what is growing in the garden. So let's take a look. We're going to start over here in the back. I've got my scarlet kale. It's surviving but not yet thriving. Still working on that pest pressure. Um, this is milkweed, which I should have been moving in a bigger pot. I will do that soon. I've got a couple different kinds of mint. I have spearmint pineapple mint and chocolate mint here and that one is a little lettuce that's supposed to be a pink variety but I think there's something special I have to do to it to make it pink I've got some sweet alyssum tucked over here that attracts uh, beneficial insects to the garden and then the Okinawa spinach is really starting to grow up and branch out beautifully Back here on the trellis, I have purple pole beans. Looks like I maybe can put some more there. And then look at this guy. Isn't he beautiful? There's a couple of these that live in my garden. And they don't bother me, so I don't bother them. Up under, we've got a dill that is desperately trying to recover from pests pressure but that's why I planted it there so that's okay um, my collard greens are actually starting to look better I've got some carrots here and check out this Cuban oregano from my girl Diva Jones I put them all across these side beds and I'm so excited they look great and happy here I've got purple island kale here and there along with more Okinawa spinach I've got collard greens and like I said all I had to do was let them survive through May and in June they're looking pretty good so I'm excited about that this is a volunteer watermelon I'm gonna just let it stay and do what it's gonna do um, my longevity spinach as you can see is branching all out it's ready to feed us well this is a purple opal basil that's my favorite kind just because I like growing purple things and it has a good flavor so I dry those and put them in the pantry uh, those are my geraniums back there I still have a few garlic and then here we've got longevity spinach branching out over these carrots so I'm gonna have to cut that back give the carrots a little space I've got peacock broccoli here and then down the ways a little bit, but they don't seem to be doing much and they've been there for a long time. So they're just still alive. Maybe in the fall they'll do something else. This should be purple sprouting broccoli, but you guys know my history with that. It may be something totally different. Who knows? <laughs> I've got my purple tree collard back there. And then here is another one of my Cuban oreganos. I'm so happy with how happy they look in my garden. Thank you, Diva Jones. Yay, they look so good. Uh, my rosemary's looking great. Uh, more longevity spinach. My purple tree collard is getting tall and beautiful and it has become a support for these beans. That was not on purpose. I'll get the trellis going there eventually. With the brassicas, I'm just trying to keep them alive at this point until fall when it's their time to shine. There's the other peacock broccoli. These are uh, the green onions that you buy from the store. I just stuck them back in the ground. And that is cilantro going to seed. Um, I accidentally grew this sweet potato here and I just let it do what it do because it was going to do it regardless if I wanted it to or not. So we'll see what we get out of there. Um, I also have purple Brussels sprouts here. And I think they're trying to do whatever they're supposed to be doing. So that's awesome. 
hopefully you guys can see that well and there is my last little cuban oregano back here so they all look great i had i got three of them in the mail uh there's a few carrots still left in here i'm gonna just let those go to seed that's a volunteer avocado i don't know what's happening with him this is my perennial cauliflower i've just been cutting it back keeping it cut back i'm just keeping him alive until fall when it's time for him to give me food so i actually need to cut cut him back a little more as you can see these are my sugar beets and i'll be honest i have not grown beets with a good fat bottom before so i'm praying on these i hope these will be successful um, i'm excited to see what i get and i'll definitely try again if not here are my calendula i have been harvesting those and these are celery that i just am hoping will eventually go to seed i don't plan on pulling those out um, and i can just take a stalk off of there anytime i need a piece of celery so that works that is my black peppercorn and i've got sweet potatoes in these two so they'll grow up the trellis uh, this is my cordyline it was doing so well by the house and i moved it and i think it got too much sun so i moved it again and look at that guy there's somebody in there hey buddy i love seeing critters in my garden y'all i think it's just a good sign of the ecosystem around here um longevity spinach as usual rosemary these are like those baby petunias and this is mia's pink lettuce going to seed so we're gonna try to get some seeds we're just gonna let it do what it do <clears throat> let me step back and show y'all the greenhouse before we get inside <laughs> so i don't know how long i'm gonna be able to let this uh sweet potato do this <laughs> but i still think it's so beautiful it is quite lovely <laughs> It has taken over. So I think this might be a good time for me to learn how to cook with sweet potato leaves. Um, I've got a bunch of seedlings in here. Peppers and tomatoes. Things waiting to be moved. Sour sops. Longevity spinach. Um, pigeon peas and calendulas. And just a bunch of stuff in here. Just babies. So this is where all the babies are for now. Got some baby cantaloupes and melons and things in here. So that's what I'm using the greenhouse for. Whatever seedlings I can fit. And then I'm just letting this uh, sweet potato do its thing. Over here outside the greenhouse, I've got... Um, these are Mexican sunflowers. That's a perennial. So I've got one in the pot here. And then I've got one that I recently put in the ground back there i'll show him closer in a minute i've got sage here this is turmeric and this is marshmallow this one is also marshmallow so i'm really hoping this one takes this is the second one that i put in the ground in this spot and so far it is surviving so i'm excited uh the lilies look a mess and two of them got knocked over i don't know by what my Mexican sunflower looks like it's taking really well, growing some new life down that stem, which is exciting. So it's lilies mixed with uh, comfrey right here. The bees absolutely love the comfrey. And then I've got some volunteer borage down there that fell out of the bed over here. In the bed, we're redoing the bed right now. So the borage died. Something else is going to go there. I've got a little parsley here that I'm trying to save that came from the store. Um, I've got this Pippin's honey pepper. This just moved like the night before last. And this is a speckled Roman tomato, which is the same one that's on this trellis we're actually going to put the trellis up today and he is going to lean back that way i've got a purple cherokee tomato back here 
This is my purple opal basil and behind that is chives. Uh, this pepper is my violet sparkle pepper grown from seed. I've got a bush early girl tomato there. I just had two tomatoes ripen, but the birds pecked them or something happened to them. Uh, this is red bell pepper, California wonder. And these are, this is chamomile, but it's looking rough. And then this is my speckled Roman tomato. If we keep going, I've got a comfrey here. I've got yarrow down there. I do have to cut that comfrey back. And there's a rosemary back behind the tomatoes. And this tomato is big. It does have a lot of blossoms. I'm just, I'm praying that I get a bunch of tomatoes from him. I've got echinacea here in the front right there. And here this one doesn't have any flowers on it so it's hard to see right here by my peach which has branched out quite lovely if i do say so myself and i always like to give you a beautiful look at this corner before we get into it i'm so happy with that spot um i've got garlic down here by the peach i've got mint up under my tomatoes this one is indigo cherry tomato. I just got a few tomatoes off of this one. It looks like it's trying to rejuvenate himself. This is sun gold cherry tomatoes that my sister gave me a little cutting of hers. Um, down here is turmeric. Both of these are turmeric. This is my sugar baby watermelon. Look at that, you guys. This little area is turning out exactly how I envisioned it, so I'm so excited. These are lemon cucumbers, and then that is cantaloupe. Right here we've got, now you can see, I need to pull all this grass out and stuff. That's why I said it's not gonna be a perfect tour, but it'll be beautiful, there'll be food. <laughs> Uh, this is my passion fruit. It does have a few fruits on there. This is the Barbados cherry. My two mangoes. The baby mango and the big mango. Um, I recently moved my peppers and eggplants over here. So I've got two eggplants and then a couple of different kinds of peppers in here on the table I've got this guy swimming in the water so when I water the table I often try to catch the water and look at him in there I got this can of lily from my mom and look how beautiful I'm so excited about that I'm gonna have to send her a picture of that Okay, here are the bananas, our fig, soursop, this Mimi Playhouse. <laughs> that is my yerba mate, my key lime, and Maya the Meyer lemon. Got an aloe vera back there. These are kumquats. And I think there it might be trying to make some fruits i thought i saw some fruits on there the other day this one is the green tea over here we've got pineapple sage looking beautiful uh this rose is not looking beautiful it needs to go on the ground and it probably could use some fertilizing these are snapdragons they bloomed but they i just trimmed them back and I put pole beans in here. My pole beans, maybe it's the variety. Maybe it doesn't like our type of heat. But the pole beans I've been planting lately, except for at Mommy's house in that bed, they have not been looking too good. There's Elijah's cactus. In here, this is my pineapple guava that I'm growing from seed. I have it so close into the eucalyptus because the eucalyptus has gone into the ground, but it's in a small pot. So I'm just... Supporting it until I can get it into a bigger pot. I've got a few onions in that grow bag back there. 
Um, there's ginger up under there. I'm redoing this. I'm trying to make space for a garden bed. So that's why you see blank spaces and stuff. This is pineapple ground cherry that just got moved recently. Turmeric back there. My elderberry. It's looking rough, but it also has beautiful new growth. So I think just the pruning would go well. Um, this is lemon cucumber. And as I said, I'm trying to make space here. My strawberries are looking healthy and happy. This is like a baby petunia, garden sage, bee balm, uh, blackberries. I got these from a friend and I didn't know if it was alive and it is alive. Grapes. Let's flip on around and get on the porch. The porch is not at all neat and clean, <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, this is my onion harvests. And then I've got some sour stops that I moved into their own containers back here. Uh, this is citronella, which was a gift from my mom. And just some cuttings and stuff. My big old cilantro that went to seed. My thyme that never left. My walking onion. Who's about to walk? He's a toddler now. So excited about that. And look at my stevia coming back. And then oregano. These are some seedlings that I just recently moved into uh, their own separate pots. So they're looking good. And we've got some jasmine over here. But wait, there's more. And yes, I'm starting to sweat because it's Texas. So this is my uh, purple passion or purple Persian. I don't know. I'll look it up. But I love this thing. I think it is so pretty. And it is getting bigger from when I got it. Over here is my rose that I got from Aldi. I haven't seen a bloom yet, but it is getting bigger. And it does look pretty healthy. I got some yellow leaves I can probably, you know, <laughs> pull off of there. Here is the beauty berry. And I'm excited. This has lots of berries on it. So I'm growing it mostly for the birds, but you can also make jam out of it. I'm hoping they'll eat these berries and not the rest of my food. We'll see how that goes. I'll let you know how that works out for me. And then my blueberries. This is my baby, baby blueberry. This is the pink one. I'll be moving it up uh, in a bigger pot soon. And then this is my powder blue blueberry it's got some on there but i don't know if they're getting any bigger or what so that's it guys um thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the tour let me know what's growing in your garden i also try to share some harvests and stuff with you guys coming up soon but overall we're happy we're eating from the garden um we are blessed and grateful so you guys be blessed too, and we'll see you in the next video.